In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this transparent glass like logos. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Drill here, and as you can see, this is the final output. Now, first of all, we will create the effect on this butterfly shape. Then I will show you how to apply same effect on different shapes or objects in just like five or ten seconds. Uh, so as you can see here, we have different examples. Uh, and for the texture, I'm gonna use this one that I found on deventart.com. And since the final effect is very transparent, I recommend that you use textures uh, that are a little bit darker. Uh, actually, this is little too dark, so I'm gonna make it slightly brighter. So double click here, hit OK. Uh, go to your adjustment, uh, select anything, let's select levels uh, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bright, that's it. Also if you want to use the same texture, download link is in description. So to create this effect, uh, you have to right click here and select your custom shape tool. Now this is just for example, if you already have your PNG logo file, you can directly work on that as well. So uh, I'm gonna go here and select this butterfly shape as you can see here. Uh, if you don't have all these shapes, just click on this little gear and select all and you will have all the shapes to work with and use anyone to experiment. So I'm going to select this butterfly. Now let's go and draw the butterfly. But when you do it, hold your shift key so butterfly stays in shape and doesn't go wobbly like this. So I'm going to hold my shift key and draw the, and draw the butterfly. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, this is big enough, actually it's little too big. So I'm gonna press Ctrl T, uh, hold my Shift key again and make it a little bit smaller. So I think this is big enough, confirm it. Now to make sure that your butterfly is in complete center, you can press Ctrl A to make selection of the entire layer. Then select your move tool and here, uh, select second option and then second last. And this way your object will stay in complete center. Then let's go to select and remove the selection, deselect. So to create this effect, we actually need three copies of the same shape. Uh, so I'm gonna select my shape one and then press Ctrl J. Double click on the name and rename it to Bevel and Emboss 2. So I'm just gonna name it BE2. Uh, and also we need to make another copy. So press Ctrl J and rename this one to BE3. Uh, so right now we don't need this two, so I'm gonna hide their eyes and we only have this shape one So activate it now we will start by applying layer styles and that's actually the only thing we will do So right click here and select blending options In the blending options, I'm gonna go and first of all apply bevel and emboss and here as you can see This portion is pretty much default. We have inner bevel smooth technique depth is at 100 direction is up size 16 and soften is at 8 but the changes will happen in shading so in the angle and altitude first of all the angle it's going to be 59 and in the altitude i'm gonna go and make it 26. also make sure that your global light is on then go to your counter so click on the box here not in this little arrow but actually on the box here and here go to your menu and make sure that you have selected this ring double counter then hit ok in the highlight, make sure your color is white and blending mode is green. And in the opacity, it's at 67%. And in the shadow, we actually don't need it. So I just simply made the opacity 0%. Once that is done, go and turn on your uh, counter in bevel and emboss. And here, make sure that the range is 100% and anti-alias is on. So it basically makes the trans uh, like, it's a little bit softer, the lighting. So uh, then go to your counter. And here uh, in the presets, go and select valley low. So this is the last one. Select this one and then hit OK. After that, I'm going to apply inner glow. So click on it. So in the blend mode, it's overlay, uh, opacity 31, noise 0. And here you will select solid color and make sure your color is completely black as, uh, as you can see here. So at anything at this down, it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. So. And that's done. After that in the technique it's softer and the source is at the edge. Choke 15 and size 32. And then in the counter, so click here. And here as you can see, I am again using valley low. Uh, so make sure it's uh, that and then hit OK. Now at the moment you cannot see any difference because the color of butterfly is black. Uh, and the inner glow is also black. So to see that, first of all I'm gonna hit OK. After that, make sure you go to your fill, not the opacity, but actually fill, then make it all the way 0%. And as you can see, magic. <laughs> uh, 
basically when you go and make your fill 0% you cannot see the original object but whatever effect you apply the layer styles they will show up so it will happen with anything if you are using a PNG logo and you make the fill 0% the logo will not show up but whatever blending options you apply so you right click you go to your blending options and whatever changes you do here they will show up so we can take advantage of this and give it glass like look using bevel and emboss so now if we go back to your inner glow and if i turn it on and off as you can see it makes huge difference it was my mistake to not make it zero percent from the beginning but now you get the idea so once that is done go and click on your satin in the satin uh, make sure the original color here is completely white the opacity is 7 and angle is 86 the distance is 61 and the size is 10 and the main thing is the counter in the satin so click on your counter and make sure that you are using step slope jagged uh, you can click here and see as you can see so hit ok and after that for the last one I'm using drop shadow in the drop shadow uh, I'm using completely black color on normal blend mode uh, and the original opacity was little too strong so I kept it to 57 angle is 59 uh, these are just experiments okay so don't take them on face value if you're using different object you might have to experiment a little so the distance is 7 and the size is 13 and in the counter actually I'm just using the default linear one as you can see here this one uh, so nothing crazy there and the noise is also zero so hit ok so as you can see it looks pretty okay but it doesn't have that sparkly or glossy finish that we want so to do that I'm gonna apply actually additional bevel and emboss and that's where this uh, different layers will come into play so I'm gonna activate my bevel and emboss to turn it on so we have this standard black layer then I'm gonna make the fill 0% so we cannot see the black color but whatever changes we do on the layer style they will show up so I'm gonna right click here and select blending options and here I'm gonna apply bevel and emboss so as you can see because of bevel and emboss I can add additional highlights without the black color and here for the changes they are actually pretty drastic so the inner bevel and technique is pretty much smooth but uh, in the depth I'm actually using 761 the direction is same up uh, but in the size it's actually 73 and 5 points softer but one of the biggest change is that we will not use global light normally this option is on by default and we also used this option in uh, layer 1 but here we don't need it so do not change your angle or attitude without turning it off or it can mess things up keep that in mind so make it off then in the angle make it 131 and altitude is 32 and also in the counter uh, I'm actually using this curve deep uh, so keep that in mind and then in the highlight actually by default as you can see here the screen highlights they were just little too strong so I went and I changed them to soft light and the color is standard white and also the default 75% was too strong so I kept it to somewhere around like 50% uh, and again I don't need any shadows here so I'm gonna turn it off also I applied another inner glow as well so go to your inner glow turn it on and in the inner glow actually this time uh, instead of this black color I'm gonna go and make it completely white hit ok blend mode is overlay but in the opacity I'm gonna make it 48 the technique is softer uh, and the source is edge but in the choke I'm gonna make it 0% and the size I'm gonna make it 13 so as you can see now if I turn it on and off we have this really sharp line highlight that gives little bit more definition to the butterfly shape also we will change the counter so click here and this time I'm actually using ring double so in the R here as you can see we have this one so click it then hit ok the range is 50 and jitter is 0 so that's fine then go and hit ok so as you can see this is with additional highlights and this is the original one so it makes a lot of difference but I also wanted a little bit more highlights that are even more sharper you know so I'm gonna use this last one turn it on and make the fill 0% after that right click and select blending options and here I'm gonna go and select bevel and emboss and this is default select inner bevel and technique is smooth but in the depth this time I'm actually gonna make it 261 and also in the direction I'm gonna keep it down because I also want a little bit reflection on the downside then in the size I'm gonna make it 29 
and also I don't want any softness like I want it really sharp so I'm gonna keep it zero and here again make sure that your global light is off and after that go to your angle and make it 146 and here in the altitude I'm gonna make it 69 so that's done now we also have to change the counter so click on it and just like the last time I'm gonna use ring double so here as you can see this one uh, then hit OK and in the highlights I'm actually gonna go and make it overlay to make it a bit more noticeable and also make the opacity all the way 100% and again we don't need any shadows so that's gonna be zero opacity so that looks good now go and hit OK and the final effect is ready so as you can see with only three layers we can create this really cool glass effect now I'm gonna show you how to apply same effect to different objects so you did all the hard work and now it's time for the payoff so select your shape one, uh, hold your control key and select both of these layers. Uh, then press control G. So everything is in single group. Then double click here and rename it anything. Now we need a shape where we will apply the effect. So uh, click here, right click, select your custom shape tool, go to your custom shape. And this time, you know what? Uh, let's select something different. So I'm gonna select this heart shape. So select it. Then I'm gonna draw it, hold your shift key so it doesn't go out of proportion. So that's done. Uh, I'm gonna move it a little bit. It doesn't matter what color it is because we're gonna hide it anyway. So uh, rename it to original and let's make two copies of it. So press Ctrl J, uh, rename it to bevel emboss second, make another copy, Ctrl J, rename it to bevel emboss the third. Okay, we are clear. Now turn it on. So we have this original shape here, right? So you right click here and then select copy layer styles. Then you click on this original, then you right click here and select paste layer style. So you have all the layer styles. Now, of course we cannot see it because these two eyes are off. Okay, now we can see it. Uh, for a second I was also confused, like why cannot we see it? So uh, make sure these two eyes are off. So we have the effect on the single layer, then select the BE2 right click here uh, copy layer style select the b2 here this time turn it on then right click and select paste layer style now let's select the final one so be3 in the butter free then right click copy select turn it on then right click and then paste layer style and boom just like that we applied the same effect on different shape and it took what like 10 seconds then you can select all of this and then group them and that's it. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.